Hi guys, it's me, Sarah. This is going to be my September favorites video. Truth be told, it'll be kind of sort of uh, August and September because I didn't do September's or August uh, favorite video. Um, so it's going to be a little mixture of both. It's kind of going to be long. I try to make things short, but you know me, I talk too much. So I'm just going to go right, um, dive right in. So the first thing that I've really been loving this month is the Physoderm Anti-Blemish Body Wash. It's pH balanced. Um, it's got salicylic acid. So basically, if you're somebody who has um, back knee or maybe you have a couple bumps on your shoulders and you just want to get rid of them, this is a really good... Um, body wash, I do like it because it is gentle, it's not like, not that Neutrogena's is so harsh, but I feel like theirs is more tightening and drying. Um, this actually has aloe, vitamin E, and chamomile in it, so, or chamomile, however you want to pronounce it, I guess it depends on where you're from. Um, but it's it's got some, some of those uh, gentle and soothing ingredients, so um, if you have sensitive skin, this may be something you want to try. If you have super sensitive skin, then maybe pass on this. Um, but yeah, I love it. Anyhow, so then, um, the next body product I've been loving is the Jason Soothing, um, 70% Aloe Vera Pure Natural Hand and Body Lotion. This smells kind of, um, it smells kind of like, I don't know. It smells herby, uh, like a, like a menthol kind of herb, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. And I can just, like, I don't know describe that funky. Um, but I do like it. I think it is very moisturizing. It is kind of expensive because it's all natural and um, I guess because it's 70% aloe. I don't really know how much other aloe lotions have in them. Um, but I do like it. I think it's a phenomenal moisturizer. So if you're really into all natural, you may want to try this. Um, um, in terms of hair care, I've been loving this uh, not not that I don't love my Moroccan oil, I still love my Moroccan oil, but it is really expensive. It's like forty um, forty dollars for a three point four fluid ounce bottle. Um, this is the same size, uh, and it's well, I purchased from my salon for twenty seven dollars. And this is the healing oh Lanz, excuse me healing strength um, neem plant silk serum. It's similar to Moroccan oil in the sense that it's an oil and it's lightweight and it moisturizes or not moisturizes but it um, absorbs easily into the uh, the ends of your um, hairs, but, um, I don't know, it just, I just like it, I think it smells, um, not better, but it's not quite as strong either, so if you're somebody who's really sensitive to scents, this may be something you want to try as opposed to Moroccan oil, even though I love the way Moroccan oil smells, it's still sometimes a little overpowering, um, so, yeah, I've really been loving this, it's lightweight, and it's, um, clearer, so maybe if you have blonde hair, maybe the, I'm not saying Moroccan oil is tinted, but it's got kind of like a, um, like a light brown to brown tint to it. So if you have really fair hair, um, this is a little bit more clear, if not completely clear. Um, so you may want to try this instead. Um, next, in terms of supplements, I know I'm, I'm trying to get the boring stuff out of the way. Um, I've been loving the um, Origin Easy to Swallow Zinc um, vitamin supplements. I read in a magazine that zinc is supposed to be really good for your skin, like in terms of clearing up acne, and I've noticed that since I've been taking these, yeah, my skin has definitely definitely cleared up, for sure. Um, it's done a lot better. I've been using some other products as well that I think may be contributing, but th I think that actually zinc has helped quite a bit. Um, I've also been taking um, potassium gluconate. Um, this is the Sundown Naturals brand. You could use any, any of those, but I have... Um, not cramping issues, but like my, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and my leg, my right leg in particular, tends to cramp up for some reason, and it's just really annoying. And it's, I know it's because I'm not getting enough potassium in my system. Um, I try to eat um, a lot of bananas now because I'm older and I'm trying to be more health conscious and 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 give my body what it needs, and it clearly needs potassium. Um, so I decided to start taking a supplement when I know I'm not going to have um, that that. What would I know I'm not going to be able to get access to a banana or something like that during the day? And it's not the only thing that provides potassium. I believe that um, spinach has potassium. There are several other vegetables and fruits that have potassium in them. Bananas are the easiest ones, obviously. They have the highest potassium, I think, um, level in them of all the fruits and vegetables. So, um, yeah. But I, yeah, I tend to use this when I know I'm not going to get anything that day. Um, I also have been using, this is skincare now, um, I've also been using this microdermabrasion scrub by um, Derma E. Um, if you have never seen any of my videos, I am a big fan of Derma E's um, products, well at least of the products that I've used so far. I have not used any of their products and not liked it. Does that make sense? I've, I've used, every product I've ever tried of theirs, I've loved. 
there. Um, so this I bought, I purchased maybe three weeks ago, and actually it says in the directions that you should use it twice a week. I've been only using it once a week because I think it's a little bit, not too harsh, but I think it does a really good job that I don't need to use it twice a week. And actually, the tub is pretty small. It's a $20 bottle, but you really don't use that much. I mean, you really don't need a whole lot to use on your face. So, um, in terms of price to, I don't know, product ratio, if that makes sense, you, you kind of get what you pay for. It is going to last a long time, um, at least for me it's going to. I guess if you do use it twice a week, maybe it wouldn't last quite as long, so maybe it's not a better investment for those of you who do intend to use it twice a week, but yeah, for me using it once a week is, su is sufficient enough. Um, in terms of, well this is kind of skincare and kind of like just beauty care, um, in terms of um, under eye and cheek highlight, I've been using the Ico Cream. Um, I don't even know if it's got a normal name. I've been using Ico Cream. Does that make sense? Um, the, the packaging looks like this. Um, they claim that Kylie Minogue is like a really big fan of it. I believe it. I can see her using this. It looks like that inside. It's a lot. Um, it's very similar to um, the number seven. I think it's the Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, and I do like that one. That one has a little bit more of a white, pink, silver tint to it or hue to it. This happens to be just a tiny bit more golden, so if you're somebody who has maybe yellow tones, I tend to a little bit, or maybe more neutral tones, this may be something that's for you. And I tend to like gold better than silver anyway. I use Galactic um, Beauty Bronzer. This is the matte bronzer in Cabo. And this is in, well, at cherryculture.com, it says what the shades are, and then I think Cabo says, says something like for light um, skin tones, and then there's another one, I can't remember the name of it, I think it starts with a C2, maybe it's Caprice or something like that, and that one's, um, for medium skin tones, I think that's what it says, so it kind of suggests in the thing, I think that the second one that's for medium skin tones is sold out, but Cabo is still available, and I really love it, I love this bronzer, I think it's phenomenal, um, it's not too orangey, I'm actually wearing it right now, um, as a contour, and then, I've really been loving the, uh, Max Venomous Villains, um, Briar Rose Beauty Powder. I found this at my CCO. I know my CCO in particular still has several for sale. Um, so this is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now if you're um, YouTube fans or you like any MAC products. Um, I really love it. The packaging is adorable. I love it. Um, so I'm very pleased with that. And it's really got like a nice kind of pink to it. Um, if you don't go overboard, it can be really complimentary, I think, to a lot of skin tones. Um, and then in terms of makeup brushes, my favorite brush this month by far is the, what is this, the F25, the Tapered Face Brush by Sigma. Um, it's tapered. Mine's kind of like funky shape. Like, I can tell it's not even. Um, they say it's like handmade or whatever. I don't really care that it's not quite even. I think it's still perfect for my face, which I love. So I use this to contour actually because like this, if you can see that it's tapered, this whole angle right here is actually perfect for kind of like getting under right my cheek, like right underneath my cheekbone, if that makes sense. So it really kind of concentrates the product right there, which I really love. And then I've also been loving the um, Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman Buffing Brush. This comes in a kit. I can't remember the name of the kit. It, I, mean, th I think it might be like the Essentials or maybe it's called the Core. Something to that effect. I love that whole um, that whole collection. I've been loving um, CoverGirl's Nature Luxe um, Liquid Silk Foundation. I wear these two colors. They both have, I mean, all, all the shades have SPF in them. Um, I I have to use flax and bamboo together because one is too light and one is too dark, so the two of them together kind of perfectly match my skin tone. Um, and then I also have been loving the Sigma Bear palette. I just love this palette. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's amazing. And it comes with, I even love the brushes that it comes with, okay? It, it, all the palettes come with a double-ended brush. Obviously, this is dirty, sorry, so don't pay attention to the dirtiness. But um, one side is the E25, and the other side is the E30, and the E30, I think, is my favorite part. But I love it. I just think that this palette is so usable, and it's just perfect. I think it's a lot more usable than the um, Naked palette. I like the Naked palette by um, Urban Decay, don't get me wrong. It's just a little too shimmery. If you want matte shades, that's probably going to be the best palette for you, the Bare Palette by Sigma. Um, mascaras, I've been loving the Almay One Coat um, Nourishing Mascara in the Thickening Formula. Um, this is an old staple of mine, or not not this tube being an old 
staple, but this mascara in general, I always come back to this mascara. I just think that it's a phenomenal mascara. I love it. I purchased this um, over and over and over again. There are lots of mascaras that I do like that I purchased again and again. Um, the Revlon Grow Luscious, I do like that one. I purchased that one again. Um, but this one, I, I mean, every single... I think every single trip I go there, when I know I'm running low on this, I tend to go back and get another one anyway. I just love it. I, I don't know... I, I just think it, it does. I've been loving the LA Splash Cosmetics um, Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Sealer or Base. Um, this... I've been using a lot of high-end brand eye primers lately, and everything creases. I think this is the only one that I always go back to that does not crease, and it's the cheapest thing out there um, that I can find. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess e.l.f. has some cheap eye primers. I've never used any of those, so I can't attest to that. But this actually works, and I love it. So I've also been loving the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Dry Shampoo. Um, I know that some of you are probably thinking you hate dry shampoo. You always talk about how much you hate it. Um, but this, I love. Um, my favorite perfume of the month is Oh Lola by Marc Jacobs. So the box looks like this. I'll take it out. So it comes with a pretty cute top, like... This, if I get it up. looks like that. Um, that's one of the one things that I absolutely love about Marc Jacobs um, perfumes. I think they really go that extra, I don't know, that extra mile to make sure that wherever you're displaying your perfumes are going to look pretty because you, or is going to look pretty because you've got, I don't know, just it looks gorgeous. I think it's so cute. Um, I keep mine in the box just because I don't have a place where I display my perfumes. Um, I know a lot of people do, and that's definitely something, that's a, definitely a goal of mine, um, but I don't have one of those yet. Um, and it's got like even like a little pedestal around here. I just think that it's a lovely smelling perfume. It smells like, I don't know, it smells... It's fresh and light and, I don't want to say musky, but there's something about it that is kind of mysterious. And I actually just had lunch with a girlfriend of mine from work today. Um, and she was, she's so funny. Um, she was talking about how, like, you know, we were talking about our coworkers and stuff. And, you know, she, she and I both are pretty much, um... Like, we were, I don't know, I guess we read people fairly easily. In our line of work, it, it, that's a helpful um, characteristic or trait or skill to have. Um, and she was like, you know, honestly, uh, I, as long as I've known you, I still can't figure you out. And I'm like, what? She's like, you're kind of a mysterious person. And I was like, really? I kind of feel like I'm a transparent person, but, I mean, I think it's kind of cool that, I, that she thinks I'm mysterious, I guess. I don't know. I've never been described as that before. And she's like, sometimes you're quiet and sometimes you're really talkative and you're definitely hilarious. So I'm like, okay, great. But um, I think what she was trying to say was, I t I'm a very fickle person, so I'm not saying that I'm unpredictable, but I think in that sense, sometimes I do things or say things, and it's like, oh, I can't believe she just did that. I can't believe she just said that. So I don't know if that's what she meant by mysterious, but I don't know if that's quite the same thing. Anyway, I don't know why I just went off on that random tangent. But um, so, oh, and my favorite book of the month is um, Land of a Hundred Wonders. This is by Leslie Kagan. Um, I guess she's the best Ellis... It says she's the best, national best-selling author of Whistling in the Dark. I've never heard of that book. But I got this from, um, uh, oh, uh, one of those, like, bargain bins that they had at Borders when they were going out of, uh, going out of business. Um, how sad is it that that bookstore is gone? I'm, like, I'm so depressed. I, we have one other bookstore in our neighborhood, and it's fine. I mean, like, it's definitely still usable, but I used to go to that bookstore all the time, and then I started going to Borders instead because I loved, I realized I loved it so much more, and now Borders is gone, so I'm just really sad. But I really love this book. It's about this girl, and I believe it's in the 1960s. It's sometime after um, um, Vietnam, the Vietnam War, or maybe during, I can't remember. But it's about this girl, she lives in a small town in the south, and she, I think she gets into a car accident prior to the book, and so she has um, a really bad memory, she has a hard time remembering things, people describe her as not quite right in the book. Um, you know, they didn't, they weren't exactly tactful back then. Um, and so she's dealing with like racism in the south, and all this and that. She's white, um, but... I think she's got friends who are, I don't know if they, I don't, I don't really know what the relationship is, but I think her best friend is black. 
Um, oh no, wait, maybe her best friend is dating someone who's black. I can't quite remember what the what the whole story is, but in it, it um, the gist of it is she and like her friends, you know, they all kind of you know intermingle and hang out, and they're all friends, so it's cool. And something happens in the story. I can't remember what happens. That's really bad. I just wrote this month, and I can't remember. I don't want to say somebody gets murdered. I think somebody disappears. So somebody gets blamed for it, and you kind of have to figure out who did what, and if any of that's really true. And then she's trying to prove that everybody's innocent, but then she forgets stuff because she's got a horrible memory, so she loses track of things easily. It's just a very, um, I don't know, kind of, not an emotional book, but it's kind of a roller coaster ride in terms of, like, drama. So if you're, like, soap operas or drama, you're probably going to like this book. Um, but I liked it. I really did like the book. Um, Oh, and I wrote down some of my favorite um, TV shows um, and songs. So this month, my favorite TV show, well, I can't tell if they're my favorite TV shows yet because we've only had, I've only seen a couple of episodes or one episode of each show. But right now, I've actually, like, I'm really obsessed with Up All Night, the one with Christina Applegate and um, Will... Arnett? Yeah, Will Arnett, the one that's married to Amy Poehler. And uh, Parks and Recreation, of course, because I love that show. I think that show is freaking hilarious. Um, and then I've also been loving Pan Am and Playboy Club. Now, I thought I was going to love Playboy Club way better, or way more than Pan Am, but honestly, Eddie Cibrian's kind of taking me off because he's starting to sound like, well, not starting, he sounds like John Hamm from Mad Men. And I love Mad Men, and I'm just like, you can't be John Hamm. You can't be Don Draper. There's already a Don Draper. Like, you, you have to be yourself. Or you have to make a different, I don't know, like, just make the character your own. Don't copy somebody else. It's really irritating, actually. Um, and it's not, like, in the sense, like, he's acting like him or the character is just like Don Draper, but it's, like, the way he talks where he does, like, this thing. I don't know. I don't know how men do that, but they, he does this thing to make his voice deeper, and it's really annoying because he sounds like John Hammond. It's really it started to piss me off. Um, and then I started watching Pan Am, and I love that show. I think it is just adorable. I love the nostalgia. I just love everything about it. I, I love the little back um, backstories of all the characters. Um, and I think the problem with Playboy Club is that you're in the club or you're in the bunny house. And that's pretty much it. Like, you don't really get to see anybody's history. Like, there aren't any flashbacks. Not that you have to have a flashback, but I like flashbacks because I like I don't know, being in the mind of that person and understanding why they are acting the way they are. Um, but that's just me. So that's why I love Lost. I mean, a lot of people hated it, but that's just me. I love Lost. Um, and then, oh, Adele's 21, um, album 21. I've been loving I'm obsessed with that album. I can't help myself. I, I've been loving it for the past couple of months, but I don't, this month in particular, I've had it playing on repeat in my car. Like, over, I just over and over and over again. I just love that, that album. And then there's a song, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Pumped Up Kicks. And I can't remember who it was by, um, but I'll post it right here. I love that song. I Any song that has whistling in it, I've been loving lately. I don't know what my problem is. Like, even that um, moves like Mick Jagger, I hate that part where he says moves like, yeah, I don't, I hate that part. But the whistling, I love whistling. I don't know what my problem is, but anyway, so those are my favorites for the month. Um, I wish there was something. Oh, oh, one book that I have not read yet, but I'm really excited about. Um, I'm about to read Power of Six, which is the second book um, after the I Am Number Four book. I read that book when it first came out before the movie was ever even a thought. Well, that's not true because the movie was a thought, I think, even when the book was being published. Um, but before I knew there was going to be a movie, I, I really, really loved that book. Um, and so now Power of Six is coming out, so I'm really stoked about that. Um, and I can't wait to read that. So, yeah, I have that on hold for me at the library. Um, so hopefully that will be arriving for me very soon. Um, so those are my favorites for the month of September. Thanks, guys, for watching. And if you have any favorites, please post them down below because I'd love to hear what you've been loving. See ya. Bye.